Welcome to the third tutorial in Python. Today we're going to have a look at making a list. Now a list is useful because we can use it for example to make an inventory, uh, to store for example a character's items that he might have on him in a game, or we can use it for high scores or many other things. Let's see how to make one. So first I'm going to type in inventory and then as always when we're making some sort of variable we use the equal sign but this time we do something slightly different we use a square bracket now you can normally find this next to the P on the keyboard uh, just near to the enter button although it may be slightly different on different keyboards next if we're gonna have a string e.g. some text we need to use speech marks as normal so the first item we're gonna have in our inventory is a sword and close speech marks. Now that's fine for one item, but how do we add two? Well, it's quite simple. We just put a comma, open up the speech marks again, and we can, for example, have, let's say, a shield. So we just type in shield. There we go, close the speech marks. So if we just want two items to start with, we can then just close the square brackets. And there we have it. That is our list made. It really is that simple. Now if I hit enter, we can have a look and see what we've got in our inventory. So if I go print, now seeing as this is a variable, it doesn't have to go in speech marks. So we can just put the name of the inventory. Now you can name the inventory whatever you want, so it's a variable, so you can just call it a name that suits yourself. Um, but it's normally a good idea to call it something you, know, you can remember that is relevant to the items being stored in. So I've called mine inventory. So as normal, you have to save it. And I'm just going to call this one inventory dot py save. And when it runs, there we have it. It's printing what we've got in our inventory. So that's already a really good start. But it's printing out the brackets and the speech marks and the comma. And that's not ideal. So what I'll show you next is how to use a for loop to print this house nicely. Before I do that though, pause the video and have a go at creating an inventory like I've shown. Once you've done it and got it working, Unpause the video and carry on watching. See you in a minute. Okay, now you've created your inventory, let's have a look at printing that out a little bit more nicely. So I'm going to leave that print line in just so you can see the difference. Now, to do a for loop, we just start with the keyword for, put a space, and now we make something called a holding variable. We did see this in an earlier lesson, but in case you've forgotten, this is a temporary holding variable that each run through the loop will store one item of the inventory, print it to the screen, and then go back through the loop and print the next item to the screen. So it's really useful. Then we just use the word in and whatever we've named the inventory, which in our case, well, guess what? It's inventory. Now this is important, you must use a colon. If you don't use the colon, the code will not work. And once you've put the colon, just hit enter and you'll get the indentation you need. Remember, indentation is the space between the edge of the screen and the code. Now, we're going to print item. We're printing this because item is the temporary variable, the little box in memory, that's holding our items from our inventory in each run through the for loop. Okay, we're done. Let's have a look at this in action. So again, we can just run it by pressing F5. I have to save it as normal. Let's see what happens. There we have it. So, with the first method, which is obviously the simplest to write, we get the inventory printed with the square brackets and the comma and the single speech marks. But when we use the for loop, we get it printed out nicely. So we got sword and shield. Much, much nicer. Now, have a go at this and try making some inventory with more than two items. 
and print it out with a for loop. Have a go and then watch the next tutorial. See you shortly. Bye for now.